Joburg Spring Challenge for fillies and mares, all in. Gates are back, and they sent on their way with good Queen Bessa steps low. But frenetic in the early stages, Humdinger wants to commit and get right in there. Mrs. Browning, just be like, also jumped out well and is right up there fighting for the lead. Give me a shot, races away in fourth. Then comes Feather Boa, Lady of Power. They together as they sort themselves out. None other, Captain Peg. Then comes Marigold Hotel, just over length the way to full velocity. Good Queen Bess, Black Jacket, Blue Cap, three quarters of the way back. Emirate Gina races towards the back of the field with Tipsy Tarragon down the side, 900 meters out. Humdinger, last year's winner in front. And Mrs. Browning. Then comes Just Be Lacko, who races in third and a length and a half behind the leader. Give me a shot. Then comes Feather Boa, white sleeves, black cap, fifth place and four lanes adrift. Lady of Power, orange and white colours, none other was next best. They followed further back and running by Marigold Hotel, full velocity out after those good Queen Bess. Then comes Tipsy Tarragon, Emma Regina being asked a lot of questions, 500 metres left to run. Mrs. Browning attacks Humdinger. Give me a shot. Then comes Just Be Lacko. Feather Boa still three lanes adrift. Captain Pegs towards the far Assad, further back and running to none other with 300 metres left to run. Give me a shot now, goes up to join the leaders. Feather Boa, then comes Mrs. Browning. Captain Peg, humding it, just be like it. Give me a shot, Feather Boa though, gets alongside. Captain Peg towards the far side, a chance as well. Captain Peg, Feather Boa, Pettigrew 1 2. Feather Boa finally wins again. Feather Boa the winner. Second, Captain Peg, just be like it, may have run third. Then came Emirate Gina, who did well to run fourth. Feather Boa, bred by Volkerbos Drift, the Maritz Fontaine, well done to Wayne Jackson, Mark Campbell, Anton Marks and Clint Veljalo, last one a year ago, with heaps of big wins, or big runs rather, but without getting her cherry. And today she'll get her graded win, will Feather Boa, hard work again, Captain Peg ran her socks off, just be, la just be like it hit the rail at the 600 by the way, compromised her momentum and had to find a way through. But ultimately, Feather Boa gets her reward today, a long overdue reward, and with his fourth career win, her earnings shoots up to nearly one and a half million rand. Let me just get those numbers from the judge next door. He's having a look at the minor positions. All right, so that was a very good race to watch. Feather Boa is finally back in the winner's enclosure, and she now becomes a four-time winner from 15 outings. Been off the track for 98 days, so been freshened up. Well done to Stewie Pettigrew. Uh, well done to uh, Mrs. W.D. Jackson, to Mark Campbell, Anton Marks, and, of course, C.C. Valhallum. Uh, this one was bred by the Volkerbos Drift and Maritz Fontaine Stud Farm. And a very good winner, top right, from Gavin Larina to have this one just off the leaders. They went and gallop and uh, she went to go and pick them off one by one so well done to all concerned i'll be hoping that um, some of the connections come and join me good to see mr Pettigrew. Uh, well done sir lovely to see you again and um, yeah i mean she's a special horse she's done nothing wrong to date and we go back a year ago almost uh, back on the inside track and yes she is to win a good race again yeah she's just been unlucky you know like alistair said she's never won a grade one race or grade two she's never been won a graded race she's earned 1.5 million so it doesn't matter what she's won. She's a very good filly. I think as a four-year-old, she's just going to get better, and you'll see her this season. Yeah, look, uh, Mr. Pettigrew, is there anything lined up immediately, or are you just going to allow her to take it in her stride? No, I'll speak to the owners. We'll discuss it. There's Cape involved, and there's Joburg, and there's Durban. There's so many seasons. You can't do all of them. So I'm going to think carefully and pick my seasons, which I'm going for. Good bunch of owners. Uh, lovely people to train for. Uh, without their support, the stable wouldn't have horses like this. To Mrs. Slack at Vogelboss for breeding her. I love Flower Alley fillies. Well done. Exactly 48 hours ago, I was watching a clip with Anything Goes. Um, I know horses are very close to you, Mr. Pettigrew. And equally so, this filly. She's equally as special, isn't she? Yeah, Anything Goes was the best filly I've ever trained. Uh, she was really special. Sad to lose her, but uh, she's at stud now. But anyway, we'll carry on. Good to see you, Mr. Pettigrew. Thanks. Well done. There we go. That's Stuart Pettigrew, a wonderful man, wonderful trainer. Well done, Gav. A special moment out here because I know they've been waiting a long time to get her back into the winner's box. And I mean, I was just saying a year ago, back on the inside track, she won a good race beating Miss Daisy. And you've beaten a good field today. Yeah, it's a decent field today, Brands. Um, well done to Mr. Pettigrew. Obviously, she had a, you know, quite a three-hole campaign and he's brought her back beautifully in the four-hole campaign. She feels like she's matured and she's strengthened strengthened and, and she's grown into a nice filly so 
looking forward to the future there. Gab, what is it with her? I know she's met some real good horses, so I think it's unfair to say that um, she's not the most genuine around to go past them. I just think that it's a confidence booster about her. You've given her a good ride, and maybe that's what she needs. Yeah, I think she just needed to get her head in front. Um, you know, I always had, I felt I had Pia beaten, and, uh, you know, when she was almost hitting the front, she, she was digging her toes in a bit, looking for the company. But um, she went away at the end, which was nice, and uh, I think this, she can only build on this. Um, like you said, she met some t tough campaigners last season, and to get her head in front now can only do the, the world of good. Gav, last time out, I was having a look at that run. I mean, the draw didn't help you, and she still ran on very well, didn't she? Yeah, we had to, we had to just drop her in yeah. from that draw. And uh, top of the straight, uh, also, you know, got stuck in behind one or two horses that were stopping, and she still managed to find a good finish. These are also good friends of yours? Yes, uh, well done to Mark Campbell. Uh, it's fantastic to win for him. To Ray Mort, thank you very much. Um, to Mr. Marks, thank you very much. Uh, to Clinton, his family, thank you very much. And to Mr. Jackson, we go back a long way. I want a, a horse, the badger for him in these silks. So uh, it's very special for me and well done to all of them. These silks look good on you, Gav. Keep the wrong. Well done. <laughs> thank you. Well done to Betway, to Volkebos Drift and Miss Fontaine. Thank you. Lovely stuff. Great interview. Well done, sir. Good to see you. I've been waiting for this. It's been a long time coming. Uh, she's been so consistent and just an absolute joy to own, I'm sure. Yeah, she's a wonderful filly. Thank you very much. Um, I think for her yes. to get a nose in front. She's had a great season last season and unfortunately got pipped by better horses on the day. But she's always shown us so much. She's a lovely horse. And congratulations to the Pedigree Stable, all my partners. Clint, my other partner, is uh, Wayne Golf Tour. His wife, Dina's birthday today. So hopefully it's a nice present. And yeah, we're over the moon. To have a winner like this, to have a horse like this, we're just thrilled. Well done, sir. Thank you very much. Well Thanks. done, Mr. Campbell. Come a little bit closer. Always good to see you. I know the last time we caught up, you had made a trip off to go watch some boxing. We Big had. fan of Kevin Lorena. And yeah, you got Gavin Lorena winning for no, you. Absolutely. You've got to keep him in the family. Absolutely. I just want to say one thing. Uh, well, firstly, thank you to Betway. Um, unbelievable betting platform, um, which is wonderful. So I encourage all the viewers to get onto that platform. Um, Stuart Pettigrew, let me tell you something about this guy. Three months ago, this guy had a heart attack. Okay, this guy's been very sick. What he's done in the last 12 weeks is unbelievable, okay? He's come back from the dead. He's back there, he's back at his stables. He's on top of things. He's so professional. And I just want to dedicate this win to Stuart Pettigrew because what he's done in the last 12 weeks is just, I've never seen anything like it. I really haven't. And he's back with a bang, okay? So this is dedicated to Stuart Pettigrew. And uh, I hope that uh, everything goes well moving forward. Mr. Campbell, always good to see you and very well said. Thank you. Lovely. Thanks We're going to have much. another word. Come and have a word. We've got enough time. Come through. Well done. Good to Thank see you. you. And um, yeah, I mean, you would have noticed at the 200, she looked to have that kick. You were just hoping she'd go through with it. Yeah, she normally kicks and then, you know, she doesn't want to pass. Yes. Uh, but this time, at least she's on past them and maybe the eye pieces or uh, cheek pieces help. So very happy. Uh, yeah, I think we will see a much better four-year-old than a three-year-old. So hopefully lots to come, but very happy. And again, to Stuart, uh, like Mark said, you know, uh, just he's so professional and, and uh, dedicated and things. So thanks to Stuart. And then my parents is here. My dad is 85 and he just enjoyed it as much as ever I do. So and thanks to Betway. It's a lovely day. Really enjoyed it. Very well done. And I'll win the next one too. I hope so. Don't go anywhere. We've got the trophy. I wonder if we can get all the winning connections to come in. Have a good look at the trophy. So we'll pan across to that. There we go, guys. Well done, Mr. Campbell. Good stuff. That's the winning trophy for the winning connections of a very special horse in the form of Feather Boa, who becomes a four-time winner from 15 starts. Well done to Mr. Pettigrew. Touching story. A horse that's very close to his heart, and long may it continue. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Congratulations to all concerned. And then I want to have a chat to the winning groom. Mr. Campbell, look after that. Thanks. I will. I know it becomes a touchy subject after a few drinks. <laughs> well done, sir. Good to see you as always. Your filly looked unbelievable today. Keep up the good work. You sure, always keep work. Just keep work, man. Just keep work. I, just, I can't believe. I don't know. I can't believe. As always, it's ten you. Mr. Peter Grow is ten you. And the groom is the stable. It's the stable. It's the stable. Very proud of you, all right? So you got a trophy and you got a check. So 1,500 Rand from World Sports Betting and we'll hand over the trophy as well. Thanks to Gary for passing that over to the winning groom. That's how we're going to close it off. It is Feather Boa, the daughter of Flower Alley, who gets it right. 
She deserves it. She's done nothing wrong to date. And I see you were getting five to two. Well done to Clyde Basil. He liked a bit of this one. Hopefully the guys latched on and banked it in the jackpot. We've got the second jackpot starting in race six.